What's up guys, I'm Caddy here, now today I'm bringing you guys the team building video for week 1 of the GBA D-League Season 2 where we're against uh, 8-Bit Insomniac, also known as Ellie, and she is the coach of the Accrington Stamplers. Now, just below me you should be able to see the team right there, I'll do it, give it a quick read out in case some of you can't read or something like that. We've got Latias, we've got Infinite, we've got Florges, Vaporeon, Roserade, Scizor, Heliolisk, Slan Slash, Siliglyph, Regirock, and Mega Sableye. Very, very scary team. Now... What I'm thinking is she's going to be expecting me to bring sand. So I'm going to have a look. I've had a look and tried to work out what I think she's going to be bringing to try and counter that. So I think she's going to bring the Latias. Because that gives me a lot of 50-50 choices. Do I go for EQs or do I go for Xs to try and take it out? And that sort of stuff. And she might be able to play around that and stall out a few turns of sand. I know she's going to bring the Infinape as well because Mac Punch is definitely a thing. And being able to Mac Punch that does about 60-70% to 70 uh, with Life Orb. Uh, which means after a few bits of sweeping and stuff, that should be fine. I don't think she's going to bring the Florges because of um, Iron Heads and stuff like that. Vaporeon's definitely coming. Um, possibly Rose Red. I know the Scizor's going to come because Scizor really does a number on my draft. Um, it's really, really scary, especially with some of my wall calls as well. It's just a really, real, real pain to fight. And, and also the Mega Sableye as well. So that, that, that's my sort of thoughts. And... I think that's what she's going to bring, which is why I've decided to build that team mainly focused around those threats and try and take them down, but also try and cover those threats as well. So uh, we're going to start from the start. <laughs> and what we've got here is Mirage the Ace Elf with Choice Band. Now, this thing is an absolute powerhouse in terms of attacking prowess. 177 attack at level 50 is just absolutely insane. Slap a Choice Band on that and this thing does a number. The main point about this is it outspeeds her entire draft. Even with minimal investment, uh, fair, you know, fair amount of speed investment, but it does mean I get a bit more investment in HP and stuff, which is really, really nice. Um, but what that means is I outspeed, yeah, I outspeed her entire draft. So I can Volt Turn, I can U-Turn off that draft. We've got Volt Turn later on with Pharaoh as well, so I can start building a really, really strong Volt Turn core. If she's Calm Mind Defensive, uh, um, Calm Mind Latias, I Oko 252 HP uh, Latias. Which, and I don't think she would be max physically defensive because you kind of need the speed as well. So, um, that's my thoughts on that. So that was really, that was my answer to Calm Mind Mega Latias. Uh, not Mega Latias, uh, Normal Latias. <laughs> we also have Fire Punch on here as well for the Scizor. I did consider this or Trick, so I could trick the Florges if the Florges was coming. But I figured the uh, Scizor was definitely the biggest threat that was going to be coming. And I knew that was probably going to be coming uh, from there. Next up, we have Anubis uh, with Leftovers with Foul Play, Wish, Protect, Heal Bell. Very, very standard set, but a slightly different EV spread. We've gone 252 in defense and 12 in special defense, max HP, and also a Calm Nature as well. So what this means is it gives us a great all-round bulk. And it means that Scizors, if they don't have a Life Orb or Choice Band, do a just about 50%, which after Leftovers and stuff means I can take them. I can Wish, I can Protect. That means they... They literally cannot break me. They can come in as many times as they can keep U-turning, but it's not going to do anything. Obviously, setup could be a problem, but then foul play, and you, you guys can see what, what I mean from here. <laughs> so, uh, that was the plan with that, but it wasn't really designed to take on the Scizor. I think I'd be mad to keep that in. What we have it for, though, is for Life Orb, Draco Meteor, Latias, I take about just under 50% for that, so that's absolutely fine. I can get, I think I can even take a crit and another one, I think. If I remember rightly, I, I, get, I got the spread so I could do that. Uh, it means if it's the infinite happens to be special, we might be able to handle that a little bit better. Um, but it's also for the Roserade, the Heliolisk, the Siliglyph, and uh, the Vaporeon as well. We can just take hits from Vaporeon for days. We've got Heal Bell. We can get rid of the uh, Burns and stuff like that. If she doesn't bring Heal Bell on her Vaporeon, then Burns going to whittle it down and hopefully bring it down to a point where Pharaoh can come in and take it out from there. Next up... As you saw, she's got Mega Sableye, and Calm Mind Mega Sableye is such a horrible thing to face, and I can't stand it. <laughs> it's just like Crocoon and Crobro. So I wanted a Mon that was going to be able to handle that absolutely fine. So the plan was to have x because with Choice Specs and Scrappy, this thing with a defensive Mega Sableye does 90 to 109 off the bat, which is... 50% chance to Oko, which is really, really nice. That's Boom Burst alone. That's not even Focus Blast. Focus Blast is guaranteed Oko. So the moves that I decided to have, we got Boom Burst for uh, just everything. Everything gets 2 at KO'd by Boom Burst, apart from specially defensive Florges, which I don't think she'd be bringing. I think she's more likely to bring the Roserade, uh, not Roserade, the Vaporeon, and then the Mega Sableye, and sort of mess about with the EVs on those. Uh, so I knew I could 2 at KO her entire draft. So with a bit of speed investment, 
Um, a tiny bit. For some reason, Showdown hasn't saved the last one. We've actually got... Um, so yeah, for some reason, Showdown hasn't saved my team. That's absolutely typical considering the last IEP battle. What we have here, actually, rather than Fling, this is going to sound really weird and very, very strange, but we have Screech on here. Now, how this works is we've got, uh, obviously, Boom Burst and stuff like that, but the issue is Calm Minders. Calm Minder, Latias, and also the Calm Minding um, potential for Flaugers, which is both really, really scary. But what it means is I can come in, as long as I can take a hit, I can Screech them. <laughs> and even though x bar will go down, that means their sweep is stopped because either X-Wing can come in or Mirage can come in, and then that's another Oko for them. So... That was the plan with that, um, as a very, very last ditch effort, it's moveset, to be honest, Boom Burst, you just, you always click Boom Burst. Considering a 252 HP Sizzle takes 60% from a Boom Burst, that's how much power this thing has, and there's no point clicking any other move, really. The others are just fillers, just in case that, like, if there's the Sableye's the last thing alive, Focus Blast was probably the better bet, or if the Sizzle's the last one alive, that sort of thing. Next up, we've got Ollie, the Dusclops with Eevee Light Pressure with Nightshade, Will-O-Wisp, Rest, and Sleep Talk. I think this is going to be an okay set. Um, it's just a generally just being fat. It does handle sort of some of the weaker things like Sand Slash, where you have to watch out for knockoff with that. And also the Reggie Rock as well. So it's it's just kind of a buffer, I would say. Um, it can kind of handle Latias, but sort of just spread some burns and just do, be a bit annoying and be really, really fat. It can kind of wall Roserade as well. Um, I think a Leaf Storm does... 50% if I remember rightly something like that uh, from life orb so it yeah it's just there to be fat really next up we got pharaoh which can which is part of our vault turning core as well we've got um met yeah we got megas up I probably don't have to have lightning world but I think I've actually gen it to have lightning world but uh actually no I guess that does make sense with the uh, heliolisk so we've got thunderbolt vault switch flamethrower hidden power ice on there with 64 and hp 252 modest because I don't have to speed creep too much and then 192 in speed which means I outspeed her entire draft so I can run modest I can get that extra 10% damage which doesn't sound much but it does net quite a few key KOs and puts a lot more pressure on that Vaporeon so that was the plan for that one quite standard one uh then it's also my counter to SD sizzle because I can come in with that I can sack something come out into that and um intimidate plus bullet punch is going to do nothing and then flamethrower even kills completely specially defensive uh sizzle from there and it just completes uh part of my vault turn core and then finally we've got x-wing the crowbat now i can consider this at the start to be potentially a um i'm trying to think of the best way to explain it i think actually the evs on this might be a little bit iffy but yeah don't worry about it the EVs will work for the battle, I'll make sure of it. But uh, we're in terms of speed, because considering the Crobat's got that little mountain. Oh no, because it's timid, that's why. Anyway, I think it does make sense. But uh, going back to this, what we've got is a specially defensive Crobat, which means I can take hit. It's designed to take out Roserade and also the Sizzle, because even a, um, a Life Orb, really offensive Roserade with extra sensory, still does only about. I think it's just like 70%, something like that, which is absolutely insane. And uh, we can KO straight away back. That shouldn't be Heat Wave on there. That should be Brave Bird. All my, all the things where I changed my mind, I just changed it. So we've got Brave Bird on there. Because I did consider Heat Wave just to beat the Sizzle. But I don't think it's really, really worth it. So that was the plan, is to have that. Because I outspeed his, her entire draft again. I apologise if I said his or her. It's getting late. <laughs> so we've got uh, Brave Bird on there which means we can hit pretty much her whole draft neutrally. We one-shot Infinite, we one-shot Roserade, and uh, we do a good amount with U-Turn on uh, Latias. Even uninvested, even uninvested, the EVs shouldn't be like that. Uh, it should be an offensive one. I do apologize about this, guys. It's just, yeah, showdown being a pain. <laughs> so that was the plan with that. So I felt I had everything covered because of the Latias, we had Calm Mindset, we had Mirage for that. Life Orb set, we had Anubis. Infinite, we had Ollie, could take hits from that for days. We could also, if we could bring an X Wing and it isn't scarfed, we could kill it with that. And um, yeah, really, really good times there. Flaugers, if that was uh, Calm Mind Flaugers, we had Mirage, which a Zen Headbutt does 78 to 80. So we could do something like this, about 75 to 80, I think. So uh, we could take that out without too much trouble. And worst comes to worst, we just screech with Bieber and then it's out of the way. Vaporeon, we've got Pharaoh, and Pharaoh can take a Scald and Volt Switch out and stuff like that, and we can definitely try and get some Wish Passing. With Intimidates as well, um, we might be able to pull a few uh, Wish Passes into that as well. Um, 
Roserade is going to be a bit of an issue, but as I said, we've got Pharaoh with the Flamethrower, and also X-Wing, and also Mirage, all of which just completely annihilate it, so that's not too much of an issue. If that's Scarfed, meh, we can play around it, so I think that should be fine. Um, and then, I'm li so what I'm doing is just literally running through the, the, the threat. Scarf Heliolisk could be a problem, but um, Anubis kind of handles that completely. Sand Slash, not a problem. Uh, Ollie can handle that. If it does get knocked off, worse comes to worse, you just, you just burn it, so I think I'm I'm fine with that, and um, uh, we can put we can put quite a bit of pressure on it. Bieber does it. Bieber one shot specially defensive versions, so I think that's fine, uh, and we have enough speed investment for that. Um, and then Siliglyph. Siliglyph's a bit of a problem because Siliglyph's quite tricky to kill. But what we I decided was there's not much point. I could run pursuit on Anubis to try and whittle that down, but I figured heal bell is probably better because if I get burnt by the uh, the Vaporeon or any of my mons get burnt, I want some support. Uh, and it's not really worth it. Reggie Rock, I can whittle down, and also Ollie Walls. And then finally, Mega Sableye is the biggest problem, but my plan is to lead off with Bieber, because if he leads off with Mega Sableye to get the Mega off first turn, if it's defensive, we one-shot. And I, if I remember rightly, I count the EVs as well, where if she's specially defensive and she takes all the, all the HP, so she's down to, like, one, and Metal Bursts, I can take that. So I, I even kill Metal Burst uh, Mega Sableye, which is really, really nice, because the specially defensive version can take a Boom Burst. So um, I was happy about that, and I knew I could kill from there, as long as she didn't have too much priority. But even if she had priority, Mirage comes in, I U-turn, and I... Oh, I guess it depends what the priority is, but something comes in and kills, is what I'm trying to say. Um, so that that's the plan for the team. So, yeah, I hope you guys are as hyped for this as I am, because I'm really, really excited for this battle. I cannot wait. I think we've got a really, really solid team going on here. I'm really pleased with it, and um, hopefully it will work, because I seem to have answers for almost every single variant of the main sort of sets uh, that she could be running, So uh, and a sort of protocol for each one, so I know exactly what to do. So hopefully everything will go to plan on the day. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you are hyped, as I did say, do, don't forget to hit the like button as well, because this is really, really exciting. I cannot wait. This is a week one. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will see you guys at the next one. McCaddy out.